Hey, good morning, everyone. You wouldn't believe it, but it's 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm getting my day started. Just wanted to update you guys on my weight loss journey. I'm down nearly 25 pounds. To be exact, it's about 24 pounds. By the end of the day, it'll be over 25. But it's been a long, long journey, and I am so happy. My body is adjusting still. But I'm going with the flow. I'm going to take you guys through a day-by-day -day journey of what I do to keep the weight off. I cut down my eating a lot. I did get sick the last week, but that didn't change anything. I wasn't able to work out as much as I did. And I got like an allergy reaction right on my cheek. I don't know if you can see it right there. That comes every time the season changes from winter into spring. I always get this reaction on my face or it's on my arms, but the last few years it's been on my face. But taking care of it, it's going well. So let me take you through my routine for the day. This is my workout partner right here. You ready to go, Mac? You ready? With your eyes glowing. We're ready to get out of here. Maintaining an active lifestyle is key to losing weight for me. I don't know what you guys do. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you do to keep the weight off. But me, I have to stay active and I have to watch what I eat. Another thing I do while going on these long walks is that I enjoy the scenery. I enjoy the birds. You can hear them singing in the sky. That's the spring coming out. But you have to find something that you enjoy in nature and get to it. And that's what I like, these nice, enjoyable walks. I walk about 3.5 miles a day. It's enjoyable. I don't do too much like hurting my body. I just take nice, natural, slow walks. One thing I almost never get used to walking around in these wooded areas is the constant creaking of the woods. Like somebody's walking or something is lurking behind you. That's always on my mind. I always think that there's a beer, not the beer you drink, the grizzly beer. I always think it's a beer or a deer or some sort of animal that's lurking in there. I never seen one up close, except when I was in a vehicle. But that's what I always think about when I'm walking and I hear the woods creaking. I don't think about it that much during the day, but at night, definitely, because you can't see much at night. But during the day, you can see through the bushes. But that's what I worry about. Another marker I try to hit is hitting 10,000 steps. That is pretty hard to do. You have to be walking a lot to hit that. On this calorie app that I'm using, it's called Lose It on the iPhone. It's available in the App Store. I get to track all my calories and my steps. It links up with a lot of the working out apps on my phone. But to hit that goal, you have to walk a lot. And sometimes I only get up to 7,000, but that is a lot of steps, 7,000 or 10,000. But the more steps you do, the better. Another thing I love to do is sprints. This is what makes me lose the most weight and it hurts the most, but you gotta do it. Those sprints really took a lot out of me. But another thing I do is lift weights. 
This is probably one of the last things that I do, but I always throw some aerobics in that I watch on YouTube, but I'm not going to show you the exact thing that I watch. I'll show you some of the things I learned from it. Those workouts really wear you out. I'm gonna take a little break and talk to you for a second. When I'm working out, I try to find my sense of motivation. There's a lot of people in this world that would try to take your motivation from you. There's a lot of negative people and I come across a lot of them. I try to surround myself with positive thinking people that think like me. A lot of people have a lot of positive things to help you in whatever journey you're on. But there's also a lot of negative people that would try to pull you down and cut you down from everything that you're trying to do positive in your life. Those are the people I try to stay away from. As soon as I feel that negative energy, I pull myself away from them. I try to keep myself around positive like-minded people there's so many people that love working out there's so many people that live a positive lifestyle where they stay a healthy weight and they don't push their habits on you if you ask them what they do they're happy to tell you exactly how they stay at a slim weight what they do and they don't try to push it on you and everybody's plan doesn't work the same for everyone so I found a plan that works great for me. And of course I listen to people, but I don't like when people try to push their plans on me. I take from it what I can get from it. And most likely I'm gonna take something from you if I'm asking you. Or if you're telling me about something, I'm gonna take something from you. But it's very hard for people to push that negative energy on you. This journey is all about having fun, enjoying your life, being out in nature, keeping active, and having positive vibes around you makes it a lot easier. So if you are on this weight loss journey and you have negative energy around you, you have to try to release yourself from it, if you can. It's the best way that you can just relieve yourself and just enjoy the journey of losing weight or whatever you wanna do. And that's how I lost the 25 pounds and I'm still going. When I put my information in the app, I was 322 pounds. And it said that if I continue this weight loss program that I'm on, it would take me up into August of 2024 to lose the weight that I wanted to lose, my goal. I was like, I have to do this for a year, <laughs> but over a year, because we're not even in August, 2023, but it's a lifestyle change. And I, I accepted it and I kept working out, I kept on a diet plan. And then my goal date changed. It now says August of 2023. I'm like, that's a drastic weight loss if I'm supposed to lose close to 100 pounds by August 2023, but it is possible. I didn't think it was, but it is possible. So don't listen to a lot of ne negative energy. Listen to positive people and listen to people that will motivate you. A lot of people are going to try to motivate you, but it's going to deflate you. That's negative energy. Try to stay around people that will motivate you. Work at your own pace. Believe me, when you see the progress, you're going to go harder. You may slip up a little bit. That's okay. It's expected. But as long as you stay on the, your plan, 
you will reach your goal. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this time. But remember, check out our Amazon storefront. The link is down below. We also have a wish list on that Amazon storefront. You can check out our wish list, look at some of the things that we want to review, and some of the guys that, the suppliers that you want us to review your products, you can look at the wish list. You can send me a message. I'm willing to review a lot of things. So just let me know. Check out our store, get a bunch of gear. You'll love the gear that's there. We have summer things, winter things for all types of weathers. Just check it out. But that's all I got for you. Remember, comment below. Let me know about your fitness journey. If you like our fitness journey, comment below as well. Subscribe, stay with us, and I hope to see you next time. I leave you looking at this dog playpen from FXW.